dear students i hope you remember game what is game gross and microscopy explain and since we are towards the end of systemic pathology thyroid is important we shall go to one particular lesion namely the papillary carcinoma of thyroid the tumors of the thyroid have already been covered in rats so you people should read the rats and also the other subjects where it is important are given here the modes modes of questioning are also mentioned i hope you people are able to find some fine fibrillary structures within an organ so this is called papillary the word papillary means finger like projections so let us go to papillary carcinoma of the thyroid so it's a beautiful specimen of a thyroid and on removing probably they have done a hemithyroidectomy and they have seen that there is a tumor over here or this would have been diagnosed by means of an fnac fine needle aspiration cytology and what is the description the thyroid it shows a circumscribed tumor circumscribed is not capsulated it is somewhat demarcated but not capsulated and if i look at it carefully it is friable because of delicate branching and rebranching pattern grayish white in color and the tumor measures so many centimeters in diameter and of course we should mention the rest of the thyroid which is somewhat pinkish brown so this is a gross description this might not be kept but it is just for a recapitulation of your thyroid tumors and how can we describe such a thing usually the students have got a lot of difficulties two components i am seeing all this is tumor the bluish ones means more nuclei so tumor and the pinkish one is fibrocollagenous septa or bundle so this is a tumor and i find that it has got a projection a finger like projection and here sometimes you find that they are branching they are anastomosing joining together so this is a typical picture of a thyroid tumor and look at this one it is a tree an arbory form pattern i think we can compare so there is a trunk the branch it branches rebranches small twigs are there and then the leaves of the parent thymus it has got exactly this kind of an appearance so it is called an arbory form pattern so that is over here and the description i have mentioned it for you people the tumor is composed of multiple branching and rebranching papillary or finger like process it has got a tree like pattern or an arbory form pattern anastomosing in some areas there is a central fibrovascular core we shall be seeing this later repetition is the mother of knowledge right look at this one if you are getting this in your exam you are lucky with the slide so there is a normal thyroid with the follicle thyroid parenchyma whereas this is a papillary carcinoma these are all cut surfaces of the papillae and in some areas there are bluish areas homogeneous and dark which are areas of calcification called thymoma body so these things if people can be able to describe it very clear and these are all the cut surfaces as though you have cut your fingers it appears exactly like that and this almost empty looking are the nuclei we call that as a ground glass nuclei or an orphan any nucleus look at the nucleus over here it has got exactly that picture so it is described as an orphan any nucleus and the rest of it is the epithelium that is the cytoplasm around it in the center i am able to see a fibrovascular core so nuclei are there it is over here and this is the thymoma body i hope your people will be able to make a mention of all and another pattern this again is a cut surface 
I am able to see a fibrovascular pore. There is a tip of a large arrow, and there is a nuclear grooving that can occur. Look at this one. It is having a coffee bean like appearance or a nuclear grooving. There are some tumors which will be having this grooving. This can be as an asked as an MCQ, and if you answer, you get a mark for it. Granulosa cell tumor of the ovary, another tumor where there will be nuclear grooving. Brenner's tumor, coffee bean appearance. This is a nice mnemonic I picked up. Where all can you see some of my bodies? Usually asked in the MCQ or in the viva. Some of my bodies seen in pap smear. So this is supposed to be pap smear. P A is for papillary carcinoma thyroid. P for pituitary adenoma. S for serous papillary carcinoma ovary. M E meningioma. A appendiceal carcinoid. R renal cell carcinoma. And this is. the concentric deposition of iron and calcium so it is a pathological calcification that is seen as a somoma body if that is difficult for you remember psm it is not preventive social medicine it is papillary carcinoma thyroid serous papillary adenocarcinoma ovary and meningioma please do remember these more the better and is a Explanation for the Samoma body, Gracias.